excellent feet. Unfortunately, gets the foul called there. Uh, Garland did a good job getting into his body, but Jabari's a really, really good defender. Garland just one of two players in the league this season, shooting better than 39% from three. The other one is Tyrese Halliburton of the Indiana Pacers. So long that they can recover and, and block and contest shots. Yeah, they contest as many shots as anybody in the league. The quick outlet again, Christopher the run out, and another quick score, and he got fouled. I think Josh has done a great job this season. Levert. Now to Mobley, up top, Garland is open, and he knocks down three. Just mentioned how good of a shooter he is at above 39%. NBA lifer, the son of Bernie Bickerstaff is J.B. Bickerstaff. Again, real good dude. And the tip there was stolen by O'Connell. Shangoon recovers another block, but there's Garland. NBA lifer, the son of Bernie Bickerstaff is J.B. Bickerstaff. Again, real good dude. And the tip there was stolen by O'Connell. Shangoon recovers another block, but there's Garland. Garland on Christopher. Does not take the screen. Got by Christopher. Shingun there with the help, but nobody as a result was able to put a body on Allen. That's got to be every night, but even tonight, you got those two seven-footers you want to race past. Yeah, you got a much better chance of efficient scoring opportunities as Allen gets another dunk. With no Donovan Mitchell, he's going to look for it. Jalen Green over Allen, a three. Oh uh, yeah, Lowry, Lowry with his new team, a chance to play an all-star game in Salt Lake City. As that will count, another shot that goes down for the Cavs. And just using his length, and you got to respect the lob threat because of Evan Mobley, how long that he is, and Garland. Contest as many threes as anybody in the whole league. It, it, it's wingspan. Even if he can't get to a play, he can cover. Fernando, though, with the rejection. I mean, just out here, just balling. You saw him get into the body of Mobley, and it was patient enough to drop off, a, I mean, an absolute dime to Tar Eason. Harlan. This is the deep two. Matthews to Eason. It's turned back by Okoro, who's a very good defender himself. Rockets guards are seeing Evan Mobley and, and just losing their mind inside. Gets turned back by Okoro, who's a very good defender himself. Rockets guards are seeing Evan Mobley and, and just losing their mind inside. I mean, he's the only Rocket so far that's had it going. Christopher's pretty good in transition. Goes right at Mobley. Mobley able with that quick leaping ability, block the shot. As Mobley was beating, he's so long, he just recovered. And then, uh... Goes right at Mobley. Mobley able with that quick leaping ability, block the shot. As Mobley was beating, he's so long, he just recovered. And then, uh, catches the little leaner. Doubled up by Allen as he's back in as well to Smith over Mobley, the three short. And the rebound scooped up by Levert. He too is back out there now to guard on the attack to Austin down the baseline. Reverse good, plus the foul on Matthews. You, you rarely see two seven footers on the floor at the same time in the NBA. And if you do, it's like a stretch seven footer. Or they're not, you know, both defensive minded. You rarely see two seven-footers on the floor at the same time in the NBA. And if you do, it's like a stretch seven-footer. Or they're not, you know, both defensive-minded. Going upstairs over the stifling Evan Mobley. Okora blows right by him and dunks it down, and there was a foul. Good ball movement. They spin it around the perimeter. An open quarter three is good. This is Cleveland's highest scoring half this season, and they continue to add to it. That's 74. They got some Giants in Orlando, but they're, they're, they don't quite move as well as Allen and, and Mobley. There's a deep one. That almost went down. And the jacket and the shoe. Don't let the, the smooth words you oh, from Craig, man. He has to mix it up, man. And you just hesitate when you get to the rim. And for the most part, the Rockets do a good job getting to the free throw line and scoring. Green throws it up, and Smith throws it down. You just see the pinch potential for Jabari Smith Jr. Garland the reset. Court, court. That I talked about earlier, there's not necessarily a spacer, so you can sit in the paint. Obviously, that's 17, 18 footer, that's money for him. He'll be able to shoot three. Garland, 
good player. He's got 20. You can pack that paint a little more. You got two non-shooting, non-three-point shooters, and they're effective in other ways. As they're the touchdown still there. And back to Allen for the slam. You got two non-shooting, non-three-point shooters, and they're effective in other ways. As they're the touchdown still there. And back to Allen for the slam. That's a new career high. Five offensive rebounds in the game for him. Big amongst the trees. He's got a motor that won't quit. Garland's got a three-point shot that apparently won't quit. This is important, and Coach Steven Sinus understands. Let these guys get out on the floor. Let them play and let them develop. Obviously, this game is out of hand. We're not going to sugarcoat it, but let these guys come out and, and, and play and kind of... In a win over Chicago, set the franchise scoring record. He's going the seventh player in league history to have 70-plus in a game. So forever. It's been pretty good defensively. We'll see if that offense can come around even more. Garland, 26, making it look very easy. Tar Eason has had a terrific game, 16 and 10 now. The run for the Rockets, 13 3. He, he doesn't know any other way to play. He plays hard, he hits the glass, he's got a high motor. Total strength of schedule, so they have a chance to really get some momentum going to close out the season. Another turnover there by Nixon. Oklahoma City, though, 